So I guess I should start with introduce myself. So hi, my name is Lexi or Alexa as my real name is. And this is my story. Okay, so on September twelfth, nineteen ninety nine, I was born. I was born at 29 weeks, meaning I was almost three months early. Due to this, I was a very small child, weighing only 2 pounds, 11 ounces. The doctors told my mom that I would catch up, but I never did. But I never did. By the age of two, I failed to hit all my developmental milestones, I couldn't roll over, I couldn't sit up, I couldn't do most of the things a normal two-year-old could do. Except I could talk like a normal toddler. But I didn't have my balance and my body was very rigid. At this time, I went to the doctor and I got diagnosed with cerebral palsy. I then started going to different therapies across the country to see if that would help my body become a bit less rigid and stiff. I did that for about two years until I started school. I started preschool at the age of four and a half. And according to my mom, I walked in there and shouted, Hi, everyone, I'm here. So you should be able to tell from that that my personality is very out there. Yeah, I'm not shy at all. You'll see that change in a little bit. Okay, but yes. After I shouted that, everyone, everyone must have looked at me like I was some sort of alien from another planet. I then made my first friend ever. Her name is Kyla. And every day she would run up to me and hug me and tell me how much she appreciated me. And we would hang out all the time. My parents got divorced when I was two, so I don't really remember them being together at all. I just remember having to go to my dad's every other weekend, and I would also go out to di dinner with him every other Wednesday, and we would just talk about life and stuff, but that changed a little bit down the line. I'll get to that. So, I was five when I, I was five years old when I started kindergarten. Um, kindergarten was a bit of a hellhole for me because my helper was very mean and condescending and I went through a lot of helpers that year, and yeah, I didn't have a walker at this point. They would just hand walk me and hold me up to make sure I didn't fall, and I tried to play like every other kid, but I guess it was hard for them to help me. 
because they didn't want to. Um, but anyway, every every time I would get my dad's, my dad would always hang out with my brother, and I would be left there to watch TV and occupy myself. So I felt kind of lonely and isolated. <laughs> but I put up with it the best that I could. Um When I was six, I started, can, I started first grade, and my helper was very mean and not willing to help me and stuff like that, and then the school would give my mom a kind of issues, and it would, and my mom decided it would be best if we moved school districts to make school a bit more enjoyable for me. At this time, my older brother, whose name is Jonathan, was in third grade, I think, but he was always on the shyer side, so I don't think it really affected him that much. The second half of first grade, we moved to where I currently live right now, and, um, yeah, um, I remember this one day when I was in first grade, my mom woke up one morning and her back hurt so she went to the bathroom and the pain didn't go away after a long period of time so she woke my brother up and he had to stay with me until my mom called an ambulance to get to the hospital. And, um, I remember being very scared and crying as the paramedic carried me onto the ambulance because they didn't want to help me walk. Oh well, I'm wo I'm way ahead. I'm way ahead on the screen. I'm sorry, guys. Um. Let's see. Where am I on here? Oh yeah, the hospital. So a few hours later, my mom was ready to go home from the hospital, and my brother and I had gone to our dad's house to see if we could go to school that day, but my mom forgot that some of the stuff that I needed for school was at her house. So, my mom gave my dad the house key, and we tried to get the stuff, but by the time we did that, um, it was... There was really no point in us going to school because it was so late. 
So we ended up just staying at my dad's house until my mom was ready to leave the hospital. And we got home late at night, and yeah. I don't think we ever really found out what was wrong with her, but that was scary for me. In first grade, I was this very social person. I would try to hang out with everybody, and, um... I feel like I had a few friends at the time because people would play with me at risk and stuff. And I guess I was kind of happy there. And at the new school, my helper was very nice and willing to help me and help me walk and stuff. So. I would say life was going pretty good at that point in time. Um, my second grade teacher loved me to death because I would always try to help people in the class when they didn't understand something and I actually had somewhat of a friend group um in second grade I got invited to this girl's party and it was on my dad to begin so I had to show up late so I guess my parents arranged that before I went to the party and then I went to my dad's later and I was really upset about it because um I wanted to stay at the party and not go to my dad's because like I said, my dad would always give the attention to my brother, and I wasn't really fond of that, obviously. So, yeah, um... My dad also didn't let me exercise at all. Because it was too hard for him to help me walk and stuff. So, I guess you could say I was a miserable child. I would literally get homesick. Like, I would go to bed every Saturday night feeling like I was going to throw up and stuff. And then... I would wake up on Sundays and around 30% of the time I would actually throw up, which was hell. And, um, yeah. I don't really remember much of second grade, to be honest with you. I guess nothing happened. I guess nothing interesting happened that year. Anyway. Moving on to third grade. Third grade was where some things started to change because my nice helper who would help me through everything and stuff, would help me walk and was always really nice to me, said that she had to talk to my mom because she got offered a higher paying job. 
and she wasn't able to be my help anymore because the because the job that she got offered paid more so she had to take it and yeah that's where my elementary school horrors began because i got a new helper and she was very mean and not willing to help me walk at all and they were just lazy and it just wasn't a good year for me and i met this girl by the name of Devin, and she would hang out with me, play with me at recess, stuff like that, but she was always a little bit on the judgmental side, and I could deal with it, but it wasn't the best situation. Um, and yeah, I also had this friend named Rhiannon who would hang out with me and let, let me sleep over her house and stuff like that, but little did I know both, both of those friendships would go crashing down the drain and yeah also in third grade um well, we had a fish and then one day i got a call from my mom when i was at my dad's house and she said that the fish died and I bawled like a baby because that was our first pet. So yeah, that didn't go well. Um my my brother had a fish too named after himself and I named mine Madison and I would always feed them every day and look at them and yeah. That was a little boring of a pet, but yeah, you know, it was something. And then, um, my mom decided that the house was a little bit lonely. So, for Christmas of my third grade year, we decided to get a cat. And my mom said that the cat would be mine. So I got to name her. And since I was obsessed with Hannah Montana at the time, I named her Hannah. And my mom said that when she was at the pet store looking at cats, Hannah had rubbed her little face up against my mom's finger and she knew that she was the cat for us so she took her home and when i got off the bus hannah was waiting for us wrapped in a blanket on the couch and i freaked out because i couldn't understand i couldn't get over how cute she was and yeah my mom also brought hannah in for my third grade christmas party and everyone freaked out because she was so cute and yeah third grade was also the year that i started having an obsession with videos and YouTube and singing and everything that sort of shaped my old personality. 
Um, I got a cheap video camera that I never figured out how to use, and I made my first YouTube channel, which was Webkins Lover 15239, and, oh yeah, I was obsessed with these stuffed animals with secret codes called Webkins, and I would collect them, and make videos about them and stuff like that. I ended up having 152. And, yeah, and, um, for my ninth birthday, I had a party up, go to Barrett, and all the kids had gotten me. Webkins, so I had a Webkins themed birthday party, and it was great. And, yeah, but like I said, I never figured out how to use the camera that I got because it was big and bulky and didn't come with the USB cord, apparently. So I never figured out how to plug it into, into the computer. So I was just kind of on YouTube to watch videos and talk to people, which I guess was cool, but yeah. Um, I just remember, I just remembered my teacher loved me to death. Like, I had really mean helpers in third grade, and my teacher would always try to help me through it and help me in class if I needed it, and she even learned how to help me walk, which I appreciated so much. She was probably my favorite elementary school teacher ever. I was so sad when third grade ended. During that summer, um, my mom, my brother, and me, we all went to the beach for vacation, and I just remember my glasses broke when I was in the water. I must have dropped them on the sand or something, because... Um, they were snapped in half, and I was pretty much blind the whole trip, because my glasses broke, and yeah. Oh, and I forgot to mention, um, in grade one, I had surgery to correct my toes, because when I would walk, I would always walk on my tiptoes, and I had surgery to fix that, and I had to be in cast for six weeks, which wasn't fun at all, because we were extremely itchy, but at least I got out of going to my dad for that period of time, and I couldn't go to school for about a month and a half, so... When I finally came back, everyone wanted to send my cast, and it was great. And, yeah. Um, okay, on to fourth grade now. Um, my fourth grade teacher was kind of mean and didn't want to listen to me and my helper was also mean so the year was pretty much hell and we also had a new principal which wouldn't listen to me either 
I remember this one time in fourth grade gym class where the class was going to run a mile and um my helper wanted to keep me in, the, in a wheelchair because it was easier for them and um I knew I could run the model like every other kid in my class so I argued with them for about 15 minutes before I started bawling my eyes out and I tried to explain to them that I didn't want to go in the chair but they wouldn't listen to me and it was just a giant mess of arguing and yelling and screaming and then my mom had to come into the gym class and um yell at them asking them why they were arguing with a 10 year old and i ended up running the mile and proving everyone wrong which was the greatest feeling in the world because people underestimate me massively and yeah so that was that and then my math teacher in no, this is in fourth grade. Never mind, that'll come later. But yeah, my, um, my homeroom teacher also had my brother in fourth grade, so she was expecting me to be as smart as him. And I'm I'm smart, but I'm nowhere near as smart as my brother is. So she would always get annoyed with me because I wasn't as smart as my brother. And she was really petty. She would get she would get annoyed at the smallest things. And it was just annoying. And I think this is the year I met my, well, a girl I used to be close friend with. Um, her name was Jordan, and she would come over to my house and do stuff. She would make YouTube videos with me and stuff like that. And a year later, she ended up moving to Tennessee, which was the saddest thing ever for me. Oh, yeah. Another major thing that happened in fourth grade. Um, since I was on a major singing kick, and I loved to sing, I loved the harmony of it and the beat of it and, and stuff like that. And I thought I had a pretty decent voice, so I tried out the chorus, and I made it, and I would have to go to chorus rehearsal every morning. Well, not every morning, but every every Tuesday morning, I would have to go to chorus rehearsal before school started, so my mom would have to drive me instead of me t taking the bus. And there's... There were a few times where I had to miss rehearsal because of the snow or something like that. So I would get really upset when I had to miss rehearsal because I loved it so much. And I would always get the solos when I tried out. So I guess I was halfway decent. That's pretty much all I can remember from fourth grade.
<laughs> okay, fifth grade was a nightmare. Um, I remember going in on the first day of school, and my helper introduced herself because I got another new helper. And she was the most annoying person I had ever met in my life because she would always um correct my grammar and stuff like that when I was running a, an assignment and she was she would tell me a bunch of crap I already knew, which was not cool. Um, I'm way ahead. Um. But yeah, my 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 fifth grade helper was just ugh. So by the middle of the year, I got a new helper, and it didn't really make things much better. But at least she wasn't correcting my grammar like the other fifth grade helper was, and um. I remember in the middle of the year, I got really sick with, um, I guess it was the flu, but I had a fever, runny nose, I was puking up everything that I ate, and I had to miss four days of school, clubs getting nosebleeds, and vomiting blood and it was just it was it was a disaster so i ended up having to miss yeah i missed four days of school and i had a mountain of makeup work when i came back and um I said to myself, I am never doing this again. And I haven't missed a day of school since that time, so I guess it worked. And then the next fifth grade nightmare was they wanted me to wear a harness on the bus because I guess I was sliding too much or um not sitting properly or something so they wanted me to wear a harness to keep me upright and stuff um i didn't like the harness because it was uncomfortable and it would leave marks on my neck and it was really bad But I dealt with it the best that I could. Um, it, in fifth grade, also, we went, uh, we went to a science center for a field, field trip, and, um, I wanted to walk around, and, um, They thought it would be best for, for me to use the elevator because uh, I was really far behind my class and they wanted me to catch up. But I was determined to find the class without the elevator because the elevator gave me, like, I, I just didn't want to take the elevator because I. I have always, always hated elevators. So, 
I went to find my class and uh, a person gave me uh, an official sports team hockey puck and I thought it was so cool that I got a hockey puck because I guess they looked up to me for wanting to not use the elevator or something. And they were all mad that uh, I was late finding them, but it was whatever. Also in fifth grade, I created the Christmas of fifth grade. I got um, a camera that I could actually figure out how to use because I had built a USB. And I started making a bunch of YouTube videos. I actually created a new YouTube channel um, called Webkins Junior Fan. And that's where I posted all of my That's where I posted all Okay, yeah, I'm right here. Um, oh yeah, um, uh, that's where I posted all of my Kinscube channel videos, and when I created a Kins Jr. fan, I, I met some amazing people, the most amazing person being Webkins fan 91, who I still talk to every day to this day and we became really close when I was around 11 and yeah shout out to you up can spend the new one if you're watching I love you so much um yeah um so I had about 300 subscribers on Webkins Junior Fan, and then um, yeah. Also in fifth grade, I feel like there was something else that happened. Um. Uh, you know what? Oh, yeah. Wait, that's six grade. Okay, I'll get to that later. Um, okay, so, so I remember that's all I'm going to tell you about the fifth grade. If you want to read more details, I will scroll up and uh, you can pause the video and read, but that's pretty much all I remember from fifth grade, I hope. <gasps> I think I typed more in here about this grade, I'm not sure. Um, moving on to sixth grade. Um, sixth grade was a very interesting year. Um, I just remember I had my brother's teacher again, and she was very unimpressed by me. Because I wasn't as smart as my brother again. And my helper was not the greatest. So, um, yeah. Um, I remember in sixth grade science class, I asked my helper for a piece of no, my helper asked my neighbor for a piece of paper, and my helper had just shortly 
left the room. Um, and my teacher yelled at me because she said my helper was just in the room and I could have asked her for a piece of paper. And I explained that, um, I didn't know that my binder was, it was empty and she just wasn't very happy with me. Also in sixth grade, I, uh, I met this girl named Jenna and she would let me sleep over her house and stuff like that. And we were close for a while. Um, but then we had this giant fight because, um, she wanted to sit with other people at lunch and I did, didn't want to sit alone, which caused some tension between us. And yeah, um, so that was the start of the drama, and then, um, about halfway through sixth grade, I was talking to Rhiannon on Facebook, and she didn't reply to me for, like, an hour, so... I went to her chat room, and she was... Sorry. She, she was talking behind my back to this other person, and it just got really bad to the point where the police got involved, and it was just awful. Um, the school got involved, and they, and they had to, like, keep us away from each other and stuff. And it was just bad. I feel like I had no friend whatsoever. And also, in the in Shakespeare science class, I had a crush on this guy named Chris. And um, I got a note from him one day. And... All the boys in the class were like, Alexa, Chris wants you to read that. And I just sort of put it down and um, put it to the side to read later, but they were all like pressuring me. And it was just awkward. It said that he would go out with me if. He didn't have a girlfriend from, from another school. So, yeah, that was that. And everyone was talking about it on the bus, which was really awkward. And, yeah. <sighs> Sorry, I'm recording this for like 9 o'clock at night. So, um. Let me catch you up to And during the fight with the girl, she had threatened to beat me up. And yeah, and then everyone had, everyone was taking her side and stuff like that. So I just felt really alone. And yeah. Okay, let's move on to seventh grade. Oh, yeah. In sixth, in sixth grade, I decided to try out for the 
talent show and sang Back to December by Taylor Swift. And that was my first time singing on a stage, which was really scary and fun at the same time. I was fulfilling the dream I had in my childhood, which my childhood basically consisted of webkins and, yeah, I would spend hours on that website on end. I was upset. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah, so I was singing the talent show and everyone thought I just did really well. And that's how my elementary school ended. Oh, and this one day in sixth grade, I was really crabby because I didn't get enough exercise. So I started ranting to my friends and my helper made me go to the principal's office because she didn't want to listen to me complain all day. And the... <laughs> and the principal argued with me, which, um... Which wasn't that great at all. And she wasn't very really understanding. Um, and yeah, needless to say, I was really glad to be out of middle middle school. I mean, not middle school, elementary school. When I got to middle school. I was entering I was entering a new building with a new principal and a new helper and it was just all great because they actually listened to my mom for the first time ever and, and um they let me walk and I got so much exercise. Oh yeah. And, and in and another thing that happened in tenth grade was my gym teacher was checking my heart rate and it was really low and basically my heart rate my heart rate was really low from the lack of exercise that they were letting me get, and it didn't go well. And my mom signed me up for a strength training class, and at this time, I hated the gym. I could not stand the gym whatsoever, and yeah, that would change. In the upcoming years, though. So I basically almost almost died because they they weren't letting me get enough exercise, and yeah, it was bad. Okay, on to middle school. Like I said, new building, new principal, new helper, new rules. Okay, I got so much exercise, and I started going to the gym, um, not on a daily basis, but, like, twice a week, and it would help a lot, I guess, um, Um, about a month into seventh grade, uh, 
I noticed a re I noticed a really cute boy at my lunch table and uh <sighs> We started talking and a bunch of rumors started going around that we liked each other and I guess he did have a crush on me but he was too shy to admit that he actually had a crush on me which is which resulted in A bunch of rumors. Um, and it, it was just crazy. I, I would hear a new rumor about me and Jake about every week of some kind of so bad. Um, Yeah. And uh that was basically my whole seventh grade year. And also during seventh grade the girl I got into a giant fight with, uh she was in my math class and she actually came over to me and apologized about what happened there before and it was it felt really weird because I went to the middle school feeling really alone and like I had no friend group and stuff like that. Um and then after she apologized and stuff I started getting getting gaining friends back but honestly I didn't really want to be friends with them again because they are they're just fake and yeah I just yeah I was really skeptical but yeah uh so I guess you could say seventh grade was a bit awkward um, yeah, with all the rumors and, um, stuff like that, it was just a very awkward time, but I was very glad to be exercising more than I did in elementary school, and the principal loved me, and my helper loved me, and stuff like that. And yeah, it was just a happy but very awkward time. The summer going into eighth grade, um, Um, I remember my mom was in a relationship at this time, and I didn't like him because he would always follow me around and call me attractive and creepy stuff like that, so I wasn't fond of him at all, and I made it very clear to my mom, but she thought that he was just doing it as a joke to mess with me, and it was just, he was just creepy, I couldn't stand him, um, uh, they ended up getting back together and breaking him like seven times before they finally got it quit, I was so relieved, um, 
And then one summer night in July, uh, I was on my phone like a typical teenager, and I saw that Jake messaged me on Facebook, and I freaked out because he never really answered his phone or anything like that. And we started talking, and we talked for like five hours. And we were like very subtly flirting. And we started talking about the rumors that went around the previous school year. Mm. Excuse me, about him having feelings for me. And he said, he said that he did. And at this time, I had a crush on him too. So I told him I had feelings for him. And I asked him if he wanted to be my boyfriend, and he said yes. So. Yeah, oh, and in seventh grade, I had a, let me go up here, uh, uh, the girl named Devin wanted to have a sleepover at my house, so, of course, I said yes, because I love sleepovers, but little did I know the sleepover would, uh, go horribly wrong. We, we were on the couch playing on our, our Nintendo DSi's, because a thing back when I was in seventh grade. And they had this app called Picture Chat. And all of a sudden, she started seeing these very nasty things like, you have the image of being in a wheelchair, you're spoiled, you're not an honest person, and you get special treatment. And I'm not even in a wheelchair, so I'm not even sure where she got that from. But, um... Yeah, we basically got into this giant fight, and she was, like I said, always on the judgmental side, so I didn't really care that she wasn't my friend, but, uh, yeah, we were kind of close before that happened. Uh, I never really, I never really told my mom about it. She just knows we're not friends anymore, but she doesn't really know what happened between us. And, um... Yeah, um... About, um... I posted a status about it on Facebook, and people started coming to me, asking if I was okay, and what happened, and what not, and... Yeah, we still hate each other to this day, so, yes, um, that was that, okay, and also during 7th grade, let me see how long this one says. Holy crap, okay, I'm gonna speed this up, okay, so, um, yeah, we still hate each other to this day, and, okay, also during 7th grade, this is where, let me go over here, 
Uh, I mean my current YouTube channel that I have right now, which is what I'm filming for at this moment. Um, I called it XX Flexi Love You XX because. I said I love you a lot, and I didn't want it to be just Luxie loves you, so I put the X X in the email. Oh, and also during sixth grade, there was another Alexa in my class, and the teacher would always get confused. So, uh, I told her that. She could call me Lexi, and that is where my nickname stemmed from, and everyone else just sort of caught on. And to this day, no one really calls me Lexi unless they're really mad at me. So, yeah, that's where my nickname came from, in case you're wondering. Um... On when I started this YouTube channel, I wanted to do like vlog type of videos, so you guys could see like my gym progress and stuff. Um, I deleted my Kings Junior fan because I wasn't really into Kings Tube anymore and stuff like that. But I have like 320 subscribers. And yeah. Uh, so I started like vlogging on this YouTube channel like five years ago now. And I haven't really grown that much, but it's okay. Uh um so told you guys about Jake already. Um Oh yeah, we we uh we did it for a week but then we like stopped talking and he wouldn't answer his phone so um and then one of his friends told me that he broke up with me but that's telling me and i bawled my eyes out because he was my first boyfriend okay that's all you have to know about that for now um also during the summer going into eighth grade uh Seven just had to text me, and I pretty much flipped out saying, why would you say that shit, and stuff like that, um, and she never responded, but it felt really good to, like, stick up for myself. Uh, um, I then decided to dye my hair red. And, um, the first time my mom wasn't too fond of it because she liked me with one hair and she, and she didn't want me to get rid of it. Um, but she eventually agreed to let me get like the spray on dye. Which came off in the shower the next day, so yeah. Uh, one day I, I was on our back porch having a pizza picnic when I saw a loaf 
a little bird on the on the umbrella and I yelled for my mom to catch it and um it basically flew in our house and um decided it didn't want to live with us for a year. And then my mom got sick of taking care of it and she let it outside and it flew away. And yeah. Uh I also got a blister from going to an amusement park and walking for six hours. And my, and my mom had to carry me around the house for a week because I couldn't walk or stand or do anything. And that was that, um... In eighth grade, the first day, uh... Let me get to my mind. Uh, I walked into second year in history class and Jake screamed, Hi, Lexi. As loud as he possibly could, and it shocked me so much. And he went over and sat by me, making me turn all red and stuff like that. And we started talking, and, uh, a few months later, uh, we were taking notes in history class, and all of a sudden, he told me he loved me, which shocked the crap out of me, because I wasn't expecting it at all, and, um, <laughs> and um and, and uh a few days later, I heard rumors going on that he was going to ask me out. And, um, that was a bit awkward for me because I was just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And then I talked to him about it one day in his call. And he said that his mom didn't approve of me having this cerebral palsy. So he wasn't allowed to date me. And I was really sad. And then a couple months later, uh, well, a few months later, there was a dance coming up. And um, I heard a rumor that Jake was going to ask me to it. And I freaked out, and then a girl I used to be close with, um, she went over at lunch and talked to him, and she came back with a giant smile on her face, and, um, She said, Lexi, Jake wants to know if you're going to dance with, with him at. And I screamed so loud that I felt bad for the people sitting next to me at the lunch table because I probably broke the eardrums. Yeah, I was pretty excited. And then five minutes later, she runs back to me and says, Lexi, Jake wants to know if he'll be his girlfriend. So, at that, I screamed even louder, and he was laughing his ass off at me, 
for me to make a mistake, but I was excited, so it was okay. Um, a week later, the dance came, and we both were we both wore red, and um, within five minutes of us walking in the door, um, people were screaming and telling us how adorable we look and stuff like that, and then. They asked us if we kissed yet, and, uh, we were like, uh, no, and, um, then things got crazy because, uh, people started, hold on, let me go here, um, People started, um, uh, let me scroll out a bit, following us around the gym, chanting, kiss, 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 and all of a sudden he did, he leaned down to me, and I leaned in, and we both had our first kiss, and it was kind of awkward because there were a bunch of people turning around us watching us yeah and um they got us to kiss like a lot and it was just awkward but awesome at the same time um after the dance, Christmas break started, and we didn't see each other for a week, because like I said, we weren't allowed to hang out because of his mom. And I missed him so much, and I couldn't wait to see him again. So, when we got back from break, everything seemed fine for a few weeks. And then, uh... Started acting really weird, and long story short, I got pressured into breaking up with him because he was quiet in history, and he didn't sit with me once for a while. And yeah, it was just awkward. So I didn't want to break up with him because a few days later everything was back to normal, and uh. I couldn't bring myself to just say the words, so I wrote it down on a piece of paper, and a girl gave it to him, and he didn't care. Like, he, he told his friend that he was happy to lose me and stuff like that, and yeah. It was hurtful, but hey, that's life, and junior high, which is awkward in itself, um, yeah, and then for the rest of his grade, history class was kind of awkward, and, yeah, and then, uh, the eighth graders went on a field trip at the end of the year, and we all got to go bowling and stuff, and, um, They were having karaoke, so I sang in front of people, and I sang What Makes You Beautiful by One Direction, and, yeah. And, uh, then, uh, a few days after the Fun Fest trip was our actual last day school, and I sang mine by Taylor Swift in the school talent show because my junior high had this thing called talent show where you could go up at the beach and sing or dance or do something goofy. And I remember this one time I wrote a song for Jake and everyone was trying to get me to sing it. And I wouldn't until they pushed me into it, and it was really embarrassing. 
and yeah, um, yeah, but after the breakup, there was a bunch of drama because some girls in my English class, uh, They didn't, they, uh, I can't remember what exactly started it, but, um, basically they weren't helping me and they denied everything when I went to Gunnett and talked to them about it and, yeah, there was also this one girl who would ask me for homework answers all the time. I never really talked to her about it, but it bothered me a lot. And, um, yeah, so that didn't help my breakup pain. But anyway, um, I already told you guys about this. It's just. the trip and yeah um ninth grade okay we're getting into high school okay so i started ninth grade i started ninth grade being very anxious and nervous and um i had the friend named Sam who would always hang out with me and make sure I was okay and stuff like that and then during ninth grade uh I was playing with makeup now we're getting into the reason why I don't wear makeup ever okay so I was playing with makeup and I had this container of eyeshadow on my desk and uh It got on my elbow because it spilled on the desk and it started and my help was out with a bruise and I said it was makeup and uh, my help first thought that it was child abuse because I don't know but she thought it was child abuse and it caused this whole thing. Um, drama, which made school very awkward. Okay, um. I started going to the gym a lot because I started seeing balance improvements and that was the beginning of my Workout obsession. And yeah, I just got obsessed with working out and went to the gym every day because I kept seeing progress. And yeah, in ninth grade house class, there was this girl named Lydia, and she would always work with me if we had to do partner work. and yeah, she was just really nice and stuff. Uh, during that to get homecoming, um, I found out this girl had this particular boy, and basically, the boy came over to me at the dance, and we took a picture, and the girl freaked out, and yeah, that's that, and that's why we hate each other. Uh. Uh, I wanted to dye my hair red, so I dyed my hair red permanently. And my helper tried to list me by herself, and she ended up having a mental month of work. She had her back, and I felt really guilty, and started to not eat to lose weight to help me. 
Help with my problems. Um. In the summer of after ninth grade, my school music department hosted a, hosted a picnic, and I got to go. But I got attacked by insects and was very miserable and itchy for days and days. And then my mom was moving furniture in my room because I started going to therapy and stuff like that. And they told her to move the furniture out. And she dropped the nightstand on her big toe, breaking it. And that is what caused me to have major depression and stuff. Also, I wasn't really hanging out with people in middle school. So I was kind of like, that affected me because the guidance counselor told me that no one wanted to hang out with me because I needed extra help. And that affected me really hard. And yeah, um, I went to an interaction concert this summer before going to sophomore year, and our seats were really, were really high up. And um, my mom had a boot on, she was really, really hard to walk me, but then we were in the wrong seat, so then the, uh, these nice teenagers, um, Chatted seats with us, and I had a good time, and it was great. Okay, uh, sophomore year, I'm just going to explain this rather quickly because it's getting way too long. And yeah, um, when sophomore year started, I was fine for the first couple weeks, but then when I turned 16 on September 12, 2015, I had a panic attack because I knew I wasn't <sighs> going to get my permit right away like everyone else, so I felt kind of left out, and that caused me to be that caused me anxiousness, depression, and very bad suicidal thoughts. I just felt like a burden on everyone, and it was just hell. The summer going to 11th grade, I went to a graduation party, and went to church, and met Austin, uh, we started, we started dating junior year, because he had a crush on me, and we went to prom, and and basically, you you guys know that we broke up and did it. You guys know that my relationship with Austin was great, and then we broke up because of schoolwork and stuff like that. But then, um, you can watch my older videos if you want to see the more recent, um. Uh, if you want to see my junior year, but I'm just going to skip that because this, this is way too long. Uh, right now, I'm in senior, I'm in senior year of high school, and uh, the day before senior year, I, d I found out I was getting a new helper for the first time in seven years, which caused me to be very anxious and worried um yeah and the fir the first day when I was on a hitch and uh yeah um the day before I'm coming off to break up with me for good and I was on FaceTime with Hope for three hours and 
yeah, I meant Hope because I went to a dance with Austin at his school, and Hope was there. And we and we walked past each other for two thousand months, and she found me on Instagram and started talking, and then we started hanging out. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, I was on this one with Hope the artist, explaining to her what happened and stuff, and yeah, um. It was hard, and I didn't even want to go to homecoming, but I did because I was here. I didn't get to go to any football games because I had to work, and uh, I started looking for jobs senior year. I got one after looking at six places, and um, I loved working in Sydney School and stuff like that. Um. Yeah, uh, mid October I stopped drinking some days because my mom came and needed me, and I was really mad and stuff like that. And yeah, um, I started doing the register, and I've been doing that for a few months now. And this the school is giving me a bunch of problems, and I get in trouble a lot. At school, for doing things that they claim to be unsafe. Um, my mom got the flu about a month ago, and uh, she's better now, but it was awful because I had to call my dad to pick me up. It was Awkward after not seeing him for so long, but I was too annoyed to get into car with my mom because she wanted to go to the gym. And because I got obsessed with the gym, I can't lift a day without feeling like crap. And yeah, so I was leaning on And then now she lives with the flu, but she, she hurt her back by lifting me up the wrong way. And, um, and she's getting better, but yeah, uh, Bethany. Uh, I met Bethany in the summer going into 12th grade because the the gym I go to was hiring some new trainers and I was bored of a couple of friends who gave me the idea to write this story but I said that in the beginning and yeah, she's like my favorite person ever. And I met a boy named Zach and my friend calls him also very fond of. And yeah, um he helps me a lot and stuff like that. And he's really cute and nice and sweet and yeah, um I never expected senior year to be so brutal emotionally, but I had mentally prepared myself for it. Okay, but I didn't realize it would be this hard. And, yeah. Um, everyone pretty much avoided me because of Zach. And Zach doesn't know I have a crush on him. But, yeah, um, I get in trouble for a lot of things, but I prove everyone that I can do everything because I'm not the typical city of a kid. And my, my journey is far from over. I'm going to Edinburgh in the fall to major in computer science. I was going to be a teacher, but I hate lesson planning, and I hate being in the life skills room. 
that I'm in right now. So I'm searching my major. And hopefully college will be better for me than high school. So I hope you enjoyed my story. Or lack of it, depending on how you look at it. But it's getting really late, so I'm going to try to upload this before I go to bed. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!